as you know, for one year, and then the free lifetime lock product for life starting January 31st, 2018. And that also extends to Experian and TransUnion? No, sir, it does not. Would Equif Let me repeat the question. Will Equifax be willing to pay for that freeze, for that lock, at Experian and TransUnion for consumers whose information was stolen by uh, through, through Equifax? Congressman, the companies come out with what they feel is a comprehensive five different services today and a lifetime lock. I would encourage, to be clear, I would encourage TransUnion and Experian to do the same. It's time we change the paradigm, give the power back to the consumer to control who accesses his or her credit data. It's the okay, right I, thing I'm down to, to do. limited time, Mr. Smith. I apologize. I'll take that as a no, that Equifax will not pay for Experian and TransUnion consumers. Do you think consumers should have to pay a penalty for your mistake, including potential identity theft, false credit accounts, fraudulent tax returns, or medical identity theft? Or do you commit to compensating any consumers who suffer harm as a consequence of your breach? We take this seriously. I've apologized. I apologize again to the American consumer. We've offered a comprehensive set of products for free. Mr. Smith, will those comprehensive sets of products make consumers whole? It will protect them going forward. It will they make them whole? Yes or no? It's hard for me to tell if someone's been harmed, so I can't answer the question. If someone's credit has been stolen and someone went and opened up a bunch of their accounts, bought furniture, bought cell phones, bought a bunch of fuel, and now this consumer can't fix their, 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 their history, they've been harmed. In that case, will Equifax make that person whole? Congressman, as I said, I apologize. We've offered them a comprehensive That's, set oh, of Thank products. you very much, sir. So I want to go back to the line of questioning earlier from Mr. Pallone. On August 11th, in your prepared testimony, it says that you were aware of a large amount of consumer PII. On August 15th, it says in your prepared testimony, PII had been stolen, it appeared likely, and that you requested a detailed briefing to determine how much the company should proceed. On August 17th, it says you, I held the senior leadership meeting to receive the detailed briefing on the investigation. You gave a speech also on the 17th about profiting off of fraud with these new markets. You shared with Mr. Pallone that you were not aware of PII being stolen. What is it? Congressman, on the 17th, I had a full debrief from Mandiant, our forensic auditors, our outside counsel, and my team. I was aware on the 15th that there's been some PII compromise. How much the scope? I appreciate that clarification. You were aware it was stolen. You just were not aware how much. I was not aware it was stolen. I was aware there was you just, it says in your prepared testimony that you were aware that you asked for a detailed briefing to determine how the company should proceed. So you were aware that PII was stolen on the 15th. Is that true or not true? At that time, the 17th was the detailed review of when I learned about PII. And even at that time, which PII? Was it stolen? Was it not stolen? Those details came to life, Congressman, over the course of August. On, Mr. Smith, on August 15th, were you aware that there was PII that was uh, stolen or not? On August 15th. Regardless of the amount, were you aware of that? On August 15th, I was made aware that hackers, criminal hackers, had gotten into our system and had some PII information. Well, we can revert to your prepared testimony. The other question that I have that Ms. Um, Schakowsky was asking on is uh, Chief Legal Officer John Kelly is still employed by you or by Equifax? Yes, he is. And you were the CEO at the time that approved the terms of the retirement for uh, David Webb and Susan Maldine. Is their classification as retired permanent or could it potentially change to fired for cause like yours? There's an investigation going on by the, by the board at this time. And Mr. Chairman, I know that my time has um, uh, collapsed here, if you will, but there's an, there's an article in WGN TV um, that uh, talks about Equifax doing their own investigation into the three executives that uh, sold their stock and profited. And I just, I guess they must have a pretty good investigative team there because between the press release that happened on Friday or whatever it came out and then a story on Sunday, and today we have a revelation that those folks didn't know that this breach took place. I just hope we get to the bottom of this. And again, Mr. Chairman, I hope that we can be given assurance to the committee and to the American people that this committee will have a markup and a hearing with bills that we can take to the floor before the holidays 
to give the American people, consumers, confidence again, because this is a mess. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.